Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> sorry, I had a cough. Ladies and gentlemen, Baralis here, and I'm here to talk about Bleeding Edge. I just got off playing the beta for the last couple days, uh, trying out all the characters, just kind of getting a feel for the game, and I wanted to leave you guys my impressions of the game. So this game was made by Ninja Theory, the same developer who brought us the excellent Enslaved Odyssey to the West, uh, the, the DMC reboot, I guess you could say the reboot. <laughs> Uh, Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice, and the excellent, the award-winning, what should have been Game of the Year, Kung Fu Chaos. So what is Bleeding Edge? Bleeding Edge is a multiplayer online combat game, very similar to Overwatch, mixed with uh, Paragon, if anybody remembers Paragon. <laughs> oh, Paragon. And uh, that pretty much sums it up. It's a mix of Overwatch and it's a mix of Paragon without the ads. So graphically speaking, the game looks pretty good. It's uh, It kind of reminds me of Sunset Overdrive with a better frame rate. So it's very cartoony, very uh, almost cell shady, but not quite. It kind of looks like Jet Set Radio, um, which is really cool because I love that game. But the game graphically looks great. The frame rate, as you could probably see in this video footage, was chugging a little bit here or there, which was weird because the first day of the beta, it was pretty normal. I didn't ha really have any issues. And then the third, by the third day, um, today, the beta was chugging along, and uh, especially during fights, it was getting a little rough. But otherwise, let's take a look at the graphics options. And that's all we got. Gamma. Cool, so I'm playing this on an Xbox One X. I got 60 frames a second, what looks like 4K. I can't really tell because of the art style, but from what I'm playing, it looks good. <laughs> Uh, Sound-wise, you get the ksh and the ksh and the ksh and the uh, you get a little bit of everything that you want. Nothing uh, spectacular. Um, gameplay, so let's talk about it. We all, this is what we all want to know. Is this game fun, right? Because I don't give a shit how it looks. I don't give a shit how it sounds. Well, I mean, it's got to sound okay. Um, so, but it, it's got to it's got to be fun, right? We got to be having fun because that's what video gaming is about. It's about having fun. Does this game entertain me? Yes, it does actually. Um, so I played this game for several hours uh, with a couple different people, just kind of poking through all the characters, just kind of learning all the characters. So how the game works, so there are two different game modes that were in the beta. Number one was your standard uh, capture, like domination, a domination mode where there's an A, B, and a C spread across the map, a uh, big disc on the ground, and what you need to do is you need to go over there and you need to stand on it, wait for your team to capture it, and then you got to defend it. So. Pretty standard, uh, it wasn't anything revolutionary. There are different kinds of traps around the map. Uh, there are, uh, for example, there are gongs in this one level that if you stand on the gong, it'll light the entire you know, A, B, or C point on fire. So if anybody's standing on it, defending it, it'll just light them the fuck up, and it's pretty sweet, actually. Um, there, are there are different types of traps as well. Like, for example, in the second game mode, it's called, it's, I don't remember what it's called, but you collect these power capsules that are around the map, and what you need to do is you need to hold these capsules until one of the points opens up. One or two of the three points will open up, it's kind of random. Then you need to go over and you need to drop the capsules off, which takes about five seconds in itself, but if you get hit, it'll stop you from dropping the capsules off. Now once your team hits 50 capsules dropped off, you win. However, people will see that you have capsules around your name, like on your name tag where your health is. It'll show like a little meter, a little number, um, of how many how many capsules that you have on your body so people will come after you and try to take your capsules and then get and capture them themselves for their team right so there's a good tug of war aspect to it if you have a lot of capsules at one point I had like 20 capsules then they had like the whole team of four or five people chasing me down and I had people on our team respawning to try to defend me and then it got a little bit intense um, and so you need to drop the capsules off now when you're dropping these capsules off there are traps like I said around the map now, for example, the first one was the gong. The second one is there's like this gigantic mortar strike that uh, comes down on the point. And you see the big circles on the, on the ground floor, like the landing area of where the mortars are going to be. And you need to step out of the way of the mortars in order to not get hit. So then you, you're dodging mortars at the same time, dodging players and trying to drop the capsule off. It gets a little chaotic and it's great. There are also trains that go parallel to each other, like two train tracks that are parallel to each other that if you stand on one of them, you get crunched. And I figured that out the hard way. Oh, I did get hit by the train. 
Now before you jump into a game, as this is a hero shooter, you've got to choose the right role for yourself. So myself, personally, I am more of an attack character, I'm more of a damage dealer. I like to get all up in people's grill, bruh, and I like to f them up. So out of the healers, the, like the supports, the uh, tanks, and the attack characters, uh, my favorite two were the samurai guy, who's uh, got some pretty cool moves, but my ultimate favorite was the uh, death metal, shred metal guitarist, Nidagur. He was my favorite because his abilities worked for me. So he's got this guitar, and he just kind of, if you stand still, he headbangs and starts playing a, a sweet riff. His B button attack throws like a spinny disc that uh, electrocutes him when it comes back and stuns him. You hit Y to burn him, and you hit right bumper to do like a guitar slide. You know, get down on both knees and push forward, and you leave like a trail of fire. But my favorite is his left bumper, as he lets out this death metal growl. Like he just goes. And it silences every enemy around them and kind of stuns them for a second, so they're not able to use any abilities. You can go in there and start just swinging, swinging your guitar axe. Like it's just f***ing cool. But overall, the biggest problem I had with this game, guys, was that it wasn't like it didn't do anything to just blow me away. And the people I were playing with, they're like, "Oh, it's a good, you know, it's a fun game. You no, know, it's a good game." But can we go back to playing X game now? You right. Like, it didn't have any sort of appealing factor that made it more appealing than something like Overwatch or something like Paragon, if Paragon was still around. Um, it just, it's doing, it's playing it too safe, I believe, and that's the biggest problem with the game is that I feel like it's going to come out, you know, similar to Disintegration, and it's just kind of falling in line. And that's not to say it's a bad game before people get in the comments and say, <laughs> no, that's not the case. I did have fun with this game, but I have fun more with other games and this is a very familiar play style um and don't get me wrong i think that playing it with friends is definitely more fun than playing by yourself especially when you're dealing with a team of fucking morons but for the most part it just didn't do anything to separate itself from the other games and i feel like that's gonna be a huge crutch on the game honestly um it's free on game pass for anybody who has game pass which is another telltale sign i mean there are a lot of games that Microsoft releases. I mean, the new Crackdown. Whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. Well, let's go back. Uh, Halo coming out is going to be free on Game Pass. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game, but it's a game that needs to be free on Game Pass. Is what I'm trying to. The, the message I'm trying to relay here, guys, is it's a great, it's a good, fun game. But it's a game that when you're taking a break from the game that you're playing because you need to mix it up a little bit, this is that game. So I do recommend downloading it. I, I don't know if I would necessarily spend more than $20, $30 on this game when it does come out. But now remember, these are just my impressions of the beta, guys. There is still the full game, but from what I've seen so far, the game modes themselves, the, the hero character's abilities, they're all, they're all fun, they're all cool, but they've been done 100 times over already at this point. So uh, that's my impressions of Bleeding Edge from Ninja Theory. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, leave a comment. Uh, we love interacting with you guys. We are as interactive as possible in the comments with you guys. So let us know what you think. But anyways, in a world full of shitty video games and shady companies, I'm just here to educate and inform. Thank you for talking games with me and have a nice night. Come on, come on, come on. The train's coming. The train's coming, hurry. Bye-bye. Oh, go, 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 go!